Good morning, this is Ms. Johnson. Um, this student has asked to look at Lesson 72, Task 5, 7, 8, and 13. So as we go to 72, we have keying word um, I just see two items for 72. Just keying drills and the word pages, preliminary pages. So let's click into lesson 72. So this is 72 report with preliminary pages, word drills. Task 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is about moving text, moving a block of text from one place in a report or a letter into another. Um, and is asking us not to use the right click feature. So the first thing it asks us to do is click before the last page break in the entire paper. So I'm going to go to the bottom and kind of scroll up to find the first page break, which would be the last one in the paper. It's asking us to enter before that. Now note, if you have your codes turned on, you'll see these hidden characters and it shows you this is the last return before this page break. So I'm going to click enter. And what they've asked us to do here is just create a space to a place where we can move the text into. So this section is the headers and footers section and then this section above it is the sections breaks section. It wants us to select the entire section and then move it without using the right, the right click. So what I'm going to do is simply now that the text is selected, I'm just going to click my left mouse and drag. And notice that as I'm dragging, you can see the arrow has got this little square, little triangle, or sorry, rectangle below it. That is the text that's going to be moved. So we've got this text captured and we're going to just move it to this first paragraph underneath the section and just drop, let go. That should be correct. And now let's go to task 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? And in this task, it's wanting us to scroll up to the table of contents, click the update table button. So what we have to do first is click the table of contents button. Well, not the table of contents button, but just click to select the table of contents. Moving up, moving up, and so this is the table of contents. If we click anywhere in here, this update table is going to appear. If you click it, you're going to be given a choice. A choice between updating page numbers only or updating the entire table. And it in indicated it wanted us to update the entire table. So click OK and then that is correct. So now we've completed task 5 and task 7. Let's go to task 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In task 8, it wants us to select a table of contents, um, go to the references tab. So we're just going to follow along these instructions one at a time. So select a table of contents. We've done that. Go to the references tab. Click table of contents, which is here. click the table of contents button, click custom table of contents here. Then it wants us to click the formats arrow button, formats, down arrow. 
select formal and here we go and click OK and then click yes to replace and that takes care of task 8 and the last task task 13 let's two four six eight so this is five oh three three is eight then nine ten eleven twelve thirteen all right, for task number 13, let's see what the instructions say. It wants us to insert a page number at the top right of the header and to select plain number 3 style. Then click on close header footer. Well, there's a lot of ways to add the page number, so Sam may be very picky this time and wanting us to do it a certain way. Um, I'm going to go into the header, double click to get into the header, and then <clears throat> go into the page number, go to the top of the page, and this is tricky because when you go down to choose page number three, if you'll note, the bottom of page, it, it easily moves from top to bottom, so you have to sort of make sure um, to not let it slip. So make sure it's at the top of page when you click page number three or page number three style. So that inserted the page number and then it wants us to close the header footer. And there we have it. We have completed lesson 72, task 5, 7, 8, and 13.